Wilson uses a timeout. It is a full timeout. We'll keep it here. 5.08 to go in the first half. Huntington prep up 27 to 14. Now, Pat, we've talked about the height, the athletic ability, the, the advantages there that Huntington Prep has. So let's put you in Al Wilson's shoes. So what do you do now? You've gotten to see these guys for a quarter and a half. Now, how do you attack this Huntington Prep zone and get back into it? Well, they brought, in that last scenario, they brought uh, Tyshawn Powell up top. You almost need to go with a bigger lineup so you can throw it over the top. You have to have a sort of a 2-1-2 a two -two set. You have to have the guy in each corner, a guy up top at each of the guard spots that can throw over that. But you have to get some penetration too. So I would go with a little bit bigger lineup uh, with maybe one or two shooters that can still guard people defensively. That's really their only hope. It's gonna be a tough, if they can't skip it around the zone and then get some penetration and some open looks, they're gonna really struggle. No, Huntington Prep, as we talked about, a lot of experience. Nothing will intimidate them. They're scheduled to play in 10 states and Canada this season. They have players from Canada, as you pointed out. They have four from Texas, a couple from Nigeria, Puerto Rico, Russia. It's an all, uh, all, all nations look. Three pointer partially blocked there by Kingsley, but there to dump it in down low is Tyshawn Powell. He has four. 27-16 Express, 4.50 to go here in the first half. Patrick Strake on the drive. And we have a full timeout on the floor. We'll take a break, 4.47 to go in the second quarter. We'll be back after this, Huntington Prep by 11. Media time on the floor. Thank you. 